Wait, this system probably should check this. So it does have sulfuric acid as organic crystals. Uh, it has a gas giant. Decent amount of resources. Well, there is certainly is a hive building there. Let's see if there's like a good planet. Oh, this is a sulfuric acid ocean and it has plenty of iron and copper. So good candidate for more turbines. Then this doesn't have that much as a Pandora swamp. Okay. Well, I already took a system, so probably I don't want to grab too much. I'll intercept this guy over here. Just intercept it. That way we don't have to deal with it later. So yeah, this is how you deploy your fleets manually. Like, in the previous place I assumed, I was like, trying to click these buttons here, or these checkboxes, and trying to figure out why it wouldn't deploy. But that's basically how you do it. And these things are actually pretty weak. They're just used for expansions, it looks like. I'll just go this way. Try to get to where you're going to be. There we go. Well, alright then. Uh, what were we doing now? Oh yeah, we're gonna go back to Gamma Eridani. And I'm wondering if it would be wise just to uh, go back to this solar system and recharge at this point. Because I don't think we're gonna make it. Let's get our power back. Yeah, we're running really low on power, so might as well. So, that's one thing we learned is how to deal with these seeds. These are like flying everywhere. This one is going to Zeta Telescopy. But it's like nowhere near it, so I won't bother. Oh, this one is heading to our second system here. And that's all the seeds. Alright, let's also check out these things. Now, the neutron stars have the unipolar magnets. That's like the only resource that we haven't been able to get at this point. But... I'm not going after them because, like, there's just, that's pretty much the only deposit in the entire galaxy or star cluster or whatever, unless I can find another one. There's usually only, like, one, so. Oh, Tish. Six. Oh no, they're taking out my solar panels. Wait a minute. 
Like, how did this sneak up on me? All right, we're losing our production here. It's Tish 6. Well, it's not production, it's power. Power production. <laughs> All right, so let's... Hurry this up. Just intercept everything. Oh, look on the bright side. At the very least, I get this thing. Add this to my power. Extra... 18.2 megawatts. Nice. Just need to repair this stuff. Alright. So, I need more distributors. I also need more... This stuff, the uh, Deuteron fuel rods. Let's head back now. You know, at this point, it'd probably be wise to put our structures into an interstellar logistics network. Just so we can send stuff around without having to, like, go back here every single time. This planet does have quite a bit of resources, so we can just continue using this for the foreseeable future. We're up to 7.25 gigawatts. all charged up. Oh, that's good enough. Like, not necessarily the special stuff, but like basic stuff like the smelters, assemblers, and so forth. Get those in there. Oh, we're gonna need to... Get a place to uh, make some charged accumulators. Just do that real quick. Uh, I'm gonna need the accumulation building, the energy exchanger. So need 40 that. Okay, steel... Like, I just need one. Forty of this. Eight. And... Titanium alloys, where are you? There you are. Need 40 of this. I haven't done this in a while. Like, when was the last time I cr manually crafted something? I don't remember. But anyway. Okay, uh, I need accumulators and full accumulators. Just 
Just charge this up. Do we even need that many charged accumulators? Like, we'll just do this. And that way, we can start getting these up and running. Oh, the reinforced iron... Uh... A reinfor reinforced iron? What the fuck? Uh, reinforced thrusters. It's like a little bit of satisfactory is leaking in. Like I sort of kind of want to play that again, but I want to, I want to play it, play satisfactory again once we get like major updates, like major major updates, not like one or two minor changes. I just need to figure out where the engines are. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, so we got our engines over here. Okay, I see you. Yeah, these are the engines. No, we we'll just take it from here. And then somehow bring it over here. Yeah, we we'll just do it like this. So now these reinforced engines are in the logistics network. Except, are you? The hell? You're supposed to be going in. There you are. Okay. It's working. Give you some drones and. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, probably should restock this. Just a little bit. Alright, so I needed my distributors. And I forget where I was making those. Oh, it's right here. Okay, now then, let's put down some interstellar logistics networks here. Space War there you are. I always have a hard time finding these things. Oh geez, that's too much. Oh whatever. Just need a little bit. So we're gonna put our basic stuff here. I need the smelters of what else? I guess we'll put accumulators in here. Uh, what else we got? Okay, definitely the chemical plants. And... Uh, fractionators. Over here, we'll put the oil extractors, oil refineries, water pumps. 
Are we even making water pumps here? I don't think so. Though I probably will have to make them eventually. And what else could we put in here? Oh, spray coaters. And splitters. We definitely need all of these. Okay, I probably should get the water pumps because we are going to need that soon. I need a place to put them. Okay, water pumps will go in there. So, if I remember correct, you know what? Let's just look it up. Okay, so iron ingots, stone, motors, and circuit boards. One of the few recipes that actually use motors. Actually, we don't need drones in here. Oh, did I not set this? then circuit boards and then the outputs go in here uh where are you hey okay, water pumps power this up And there we go. So if we need water pumps, we're getting that now. Probably should do the same thing with our MK3 assemblers as well. Hey, this is almost done. Like sooner or later, I'm also going to put down like another layer, like another Dyson shell. So, let's get this in here. Our space warpers in here. And then our MK3s. The assemblers. So now we'll be able to send those out. Alright, so let's continue what we're doing. Let's make our proliferators. That was quite a detour though. Alright, where is Tish? Where are you, Tishy? 
Yeah, where is it? It's to the side here. There we are. Honestly, one of the things they can do for this game is uh, have those little arrows. Like, yeah, there's some arrows right here. Like, make them bigger or something. Because I always have a hard time finding things. Wait, why am I going to Tish again? Or if I was supposed to go to Gamma Eridani. But anyway, since I'm here, might as well check this. I got 1.61 gigawatts. 0.61 gigawatts. We still have uh, ray receivers, so let's put down another thing for the uh, critical photons. Oh, where is it? Okay, it's on the uh, other side here, other pole. Okay, let's put down another blueprint for these ray receivers. Back to being insufficient, but at least we have room to grow. All right, that will do for now. Yeah, that's slowly building. Alright, back to making proliferators. Let me just put down those distributors first, put the drones in, just so we can get those proliferators in the production there. Also need to get some more space warpers for myself. I was building in two, I believe. Well, just follow the line. Yeah, right there. And power is pretty good at this point. do something about the hydrogen, shouldn't I? Actually, yeah, I do need to do something about that hydrogen, but we'll worry about this first. Uh, restock on the stuff here.
and get some solar panels. Okay, so... With this... We're gonna go to another planet. Um, yeah, this one. This is where we're gonna get our coal. We're gonna turn those into diamonds and then we're gonna bring the... The... What's his face? The carbon nanotubes there. Wait, before we go, double check to make sure this is set correctly. Local demand, remote supply, and it's only going to supply anything in this system. Okay, so we're good. Got plenty of solar panels as well. All right, let's waste them. We can use the power as well. Okay, so here's the equator. And what is this skin? Oh, this actually has more wind than solar, so uh let's get rid of this. Bust out the blueprints here. do it like this all right no more solar panels we have to take out these threats so go one more and just right here So, got a decent amount of power from that. We'll just add it to solar power and wind power over here. start uh, capturing some coal or right, let's build out the what's it called the, the graphite first
Hmm. Wonder if I should also get some silicone as well. Like it does have pretty decent silicone. Probably use that for later. We don't actually need that much in terms of graphite. Or maybe we do. Uh you know what? Probably a good opportunity to get another one of these blueprints going. Right? So iron ingot. No, not iron ingots. Um, is it steel? No. Titanium. Yeah, there we go. So we'll switch this over to graphite production and then we'll overwrite the blueprint. Probably don't even need that much, but I do need the blueprint. So the graphite turns into uh, diamonds. Okay, I will do the other side. And it does take a long time to switch this over. Now, of course, we don't need this much graphene. And then we'll turn graphene into diamonds. Like we don't need to switch this recipe over. Just turn this from energetic graphene. Like we don't even need to save the blueprint. Because in most cases, I'm just going to use Kimberlite to make diamonds, but for this specific system, since I don't really have Kimberlite, I'm going to have to use the stuff here. Just turn the graphene into, or graphite into diamonds. Like, we have plenty of coal on this planet anyway, so it's not a huge issue here. Yeah, and again, I'm not saving this blueprint. I will save this graphite. And make sure let's also check to make sure that this blueprint saved everything and it looks like it has oh and before I continue Let's also get our stuff here. 
Or, you know what? Not this. Um, since this planet will be producing uh, proliferators, do it like this. And then, what else do we need? Uh, I think that's it for the time being. So let's get our proliferator distributor right here. Oh, no, those are the wrong drones. There we go. And then next... Yeah, okay, now I remembered. Carbon nanotubes, we're gonna need that. Uh, let's just get the coal first. Uh, where would I get coal? Some coal up there. Let's also get these solar panels. I'm gonna get it around the equator first and then we'll branch out. Oh, there is some coal right there. Can't get all of them. Okay, so there's more, another deposit over here. And another one over there as well. Okay, it's gonna have to work like that. Now the deposits are big, so I don't even need to put multiples of that. Just like one or two or how much ever I took, like, did I take like three? Okay, there's other coal deposits, but we'll leave those for the time being. And of course there's organic crystals if I ever need more of that. Okay, how much titanium do you... Not that much. But anyway... Holes being shipped in. Yeah, you know what? I probably need more. Or at the very least, probably should just limit this. Because I also need coal for the tier ones. Or the MK ones, I should say. I probably should put down these blueprints, like, right now. Just so we can get rid of those wireless towers.
let's line it up here. 